Welcome to Homeschool Nolan, here to help you navigate learning in the digital age. I work in the tech industry, and lately I've been hearing a lot of hype about how artificial intelligence and machine learning, or AIML, is taking over the world. And with that, I also hear that AIML is a great field to get into with lots of job opportunities. So I was surprised a few weeks ago when I saw this headline in Bloomberg News, where a major tech company announced 12,000 job cuts in their AI unit. So what's going on here? Well, the fact is, is that artificial intelligence may be taking over the world, but not all jobs in AI ML are created equal. And in this video, I'd like to talk about the truth behind jobs in artificial intelligence and machine learning and what it really takes to be successful in this field. But first, I'd like to review exactly what AIML really is. Artificial intelligence is a branch of computer science which aims to develop computer systems that can perform cognitive tasks such as thinking, reasoning, and making decisions just like a human being can. To me, the ultimate example of artificial intelligence is still Commander Data from the television series Star Trek The Next Generation. Now like humans, machines are also capable of learning, and that's where machine learning comes in. But computers learn a bit differently from humans. The example I like to use is learning the difference between, say, a cat and a dog. Now it's pretty easy for a three-year-old human to learn the difference between a cat and a dog. But for a machine to learn the difference, you need to feed it hundreds, if not thousands and thousands of images of these animals which are labeled as either cat or dog. The computer will then break all the pixels in the images into numbers and then try to find patterns from which it can build a mathematical model or formula to enable it to predict whether an unlabeled image is either a cat or a dog. So in other words, for a machine to learn anything, it needs to be fed lots and lots of data from which it can try to find patterns in the right math formula for making intelligent decisions or predictions. Obviously, developing the algorithms that can help machines learn is very difficult and those who can do it have some of the highest paying jobs in artificial intelligence. And there aren't many people in the world who can come up with new machine learning algorithms that haven't been done before. Now on the other end of the career spectrum are jobs for people who can label and prepare data. These are the humans who would label each image as say a cat or a dog before feeding it into the computer. Obviously these are the jobs that most people can learn how to do and they don't pay as well. Now in between these two jobs are people who know how to use existing machine learning algorithms that have already been developed to build, train, and deploy new AI ML systems. So it sounds like there should be a lot of job opportunities out there for all different skill levels, right? Well, the reality is, is that Unlike past disruptive technologies, AI ML, at least so far, does not seem to be creating as many new jobs as the ones it is replacing. In the past, whenever a new disruptive technology came, came along, it usually created at least two types of jobs. Jobs for building techno the technology and jobs for using the technology. For example, when a disruptive new technology called the airplane was introduced over a hundred years ago, it created jobs for people who could design and build airplanes and those who could use and operate airplanes such as pilots and mechanics. So even though the airplane would eventually eliminate many jobs say for passenger trains and ocean liners, it ended up creating many more new jobs because it still took skill to fly and maintain and operate airplanes. What makes AI ML different is that artificial intelligence is by design supposed, supposed to be very easy to use. Any three-year-old 
can learn how to use the voice activated AI on any smartphone now. So unless you know how to build one of these systems, there actually aren't as many great high paying jobs opportunities in AI ML. But let's say artificial intelligence is for you and you want to help build the next generation of AI systems. How to prepare then? Well, if you follow my other videos, you know how I emphasize how important it is to have a strong mathematical background in computer science. And AI ML is no exception. Remember, machine learning is all about coming up with the right mathematical models so computers can make accurate predictions and decisions like a human can. Now, there are three branches of math in particular that you should be good at if you want to make a significant impact in artificial intelligence. The first branch is calculus. Calculus is the study of rates of change. It's important in machine learning because it helps determine when the error of certain mathematical models stops changing with certain parameters. In other words, it helps us to optimize machine learning models to give us the best predictions. A very popular machine learning algorithm that does this is called the gradient descent algorithm and it uses calculus. In addition to calculus, the subject of probability and statistics is also important in machine learning. Probability is all about predicting how likely an event is to occur. And statistics is about the analysis of past events. When machines learn, they need to use statistics to analyze all the data they have as they are training on them. And then they use probability to make predictions. But perhaps the most important branch of mathematics when it comes to machine learning is linear algebra. Linear algebra is about solving systems of linear equations using vectors and matrices. Now that doesn't quite ring a bell, then you're not alone. I remember taking linear algebra in college and I still remember one of my classmates complaining to me just how abstract she thought the subject was. And it wasn't until I started studying machine learning that I began to appreciate how important linear algebra is in the digital age. Machine learning systems learn from massive data sets of numbers. And these numbers need to be organized into arrays, vectors, and matrices. And linear algebra is what allows you to solve problems using arrays, vectors, and matrices. Now, if you really want to deep dive and be more hardcore about learning the math behind machine learning, I suggest you check out this book, Mathematics for Machine Learning, available on Amazon. It's a pretty intense and rigorous book for college level and above. But if you can master most of it, I think you will have great potential to be a machine learning scientist. By the way, if you're looking for an online platform for learning math, check out study.com. Study.com has over 8,300 engaging videos, including courses on calculus, statistics, and linear algebra. I use it with my son, and we find it a great way to support his homeschooling as well as my own supplemental learning. Use the coupon code HOMESCHOOLNOLAN and get 30% off the first three months. Check out study.com today. In addition to having a solid mathematical foundation, one more skill you should have if you want to have a successful career in AIML is Python programming. You should learn Python not to develop new algorithms, but to use algorithms that have already been developed by other scientists and engineers. The fact is, machine learning has been around for decades, and there are a lot of jobs out there for people who know how to use existing software libraries that are, that are written in Python to build, train, and deploy new AI systems. Python, in my opinion, is one of the easiest programming languages to learn simply because there are so many books, classes, and free online resources out there for learning Python. But because it's relatively easy to learn, it's not exactly a rare and valuable skill. And so simply learning Python alone won't make you rich. 
But if you can combine Python with strong mathematical skills in machine learning, you will have an edge over most others in an increasingly competitive job market. So in summary, artificial intelligence and machine learning is indeed changing the way we learn, work, and live in the digital age. And it's likely to keep creating fewer jobs than it replaces. And with that, the biggest rewards in the world of AI will go to those who can build newer and better AI systems. But doing so, of course, takes talent in mathematics and programming. But regardless of your own strengths and interests, I hope this video has given you some perspective and how you might want to navigate your own learning path and career in the digital age. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to click subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.